Good evening and welcome to our winter band and orchestra concert. First group that you're going to hear this evening is the concert band and uh, we're going to perform Samuel Hazo's Georgian Suite. Uh, the Georgian Suite is actually consists of three different works um, that were commissioned by a variety of different groups from the state of Georgia, published at different times over the course of a few years. Even though these were composed and published as three separate works, Hazo conceptualized the three pieces as a suite, and that is how we will perform it as a three movement single word this evening. The first movement is Our Kingsland Spring, which gets its title from the premiere, actually. The premiere took place in Kingsland, Georgia, on the first day of spring in 2004. The second movement, Rivers, was written in 2003 and alludes to the way in which a river can divide itself with each half or each portion of the river becoming an entity of its own and so they can also combine to become a, a single entity. The piece itself um, is divided into three distinct themes that flow together as a whole and also, and also are presented separately and standalone. The third movement, Ascend, was also premiered in 2004, it was written to evoke a sense of adventure through harmonic contrasts, mixed meters, and syncopations. This is Samuel Hazo's Georgian Suite. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good evening and welcome. My name is Nick Curry. I am the orchestra director here. On stage now is our chamber string orchestra. We have one piece to perform as a group before we bring on the rest of the string orchestra. This is called the Idols of Pegasus, based on the Greek myth of the winged horse. Uh, it features solos by Haley Mack, Carissa Knoll, Olivia Timothy, Christina Ellis, and James Liu. There is a little bit of a fake ending at the end, so watch out and hold your applause until the very end. Enjoy the Idols of Pegasus.
Our combined string orchestra has two numbers to pair through tonight. We take you back on the first one to some Johann Sebastian Bach. This is his fifth Brandenburg concerto, number five here, the first movement in D. And we will follow that up with another piece called Declarations, a modern piece by contemporary composer Jeffrey Bishop. So coming on the stage now is our combined orchestra. We will play those two pieces to conclude our portion of the evening. Thank you.
A note from the conductor, Mr. Chester Fisher. Declarations is a celebration of the inalienable rights enjoyed by every person in America today. The pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. My composition seeks to celebrate the diversity that is America, be it ethnic, religious, or political. It should be played in a spirit of great joy and vivacity. It is dedicated to all the great free thinkers that have gone before us and those yet to come.
The next group uh, that's going to perform this evening is the Symphonic Band. Um, so the first piece that we're going to perform is a piece entitled Kachi and Chorale, written by Clifton Williams. Um, so I'm going to read the program notes that the, these were written by the composer. So these are the composer's program notes for the piece. While it remains open to question whether music can convey any message other than a purely musical one, Composers often tend to attempt philosophical, pictorial, or other aspects within a musical framework. Such is the case with Cacci and Corral, two title words borrowed from the Italian because of their allegorical significance. The first, Caccia, means hunt or chase, and it's intended to reflect the preoccupation of most people in the world with the constant pursuit of materialism. The Corral is, by contrast, an urgent, an insistent plea for greater humanity, a return to religious or ethical concepts. Kachi and Corral was actually Clifton Williams' final composition as he passed away from cancer shortly after its publication in 1976. Knowing his time on earth was coming to an end, his words in the program will take on a deeper message, possibly a reflection on life, ending with his final plea for a greater humanity. So this is Kachi and Corral by Clifton Williams. Thank <laughs> you. 
Our next selection is Shenandoah. Uh, this arrangement is by Omar Thomas. Shenandoah is one of the most well-known and beloved folks, American folk songs, originally a river song detailing the lives and journeys of fur traders canoeing down the Missouri River. The symbolism of this is culturally significant. The symbolism of this culturally significant melody has been expanded to include its geographic namesake, which is an area of the United States that encompasses West Virginia, a good portion of the uh, western part of Virginia, various parks, rivers, counties, and academic institutions found within. This particular arrangement of Shenandoah recalls the beauty of the Shenandoah Valley, but not bathed in golden sunlight, rather blanketed by low-hanging clouds and experiencing intermittent periods of heavy rainfall. There are a few musical moments where the sun attempts to pierce through the clouds, but ultimately the rain wins out. This arrangement of Shenandoah is at times mysterious, somewhat ominous, constantly introspective, and deeply soulful. Thank you. 
It was a very challenging piece musically to throw at them after coming off of about two years of not doing stuff like that. Can we give them another round of applause? <laughs> the last piece that the symphonic band is going to play is uh, Claude T. Smith's God of Our Fathers. God of Our Fathers is a 19th century American Christian hymn written by Daniel C. Roberts in 1876 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the United States Declaration of Independence. The hymn was also chosen for the celebration of the centennial of the United States Constitution. Originally written for brass choir and organ, the chorale prelude this crowd prelude was rescored by Claude T. Smith for Symphonic Band, where it has become a staple in the concert band literature. It opens with the same brass choir as the original version before it, the expanded instrumentation with the woodwinds and percussion is introduced. So I chose this piece for a specific reason. The past few years, for me personally, I've seen several of my mentors pass on. And I guess that's just what happens when we get older, um, our mentors. Uh, do pass on, it's just, it's just one of those things. One of those mentors um, was a direct band director by the name of Robert Zellner, who passed away this past August. Mr. Zellner was um, guest conductor for district band when I was a senior in high school. Uh, and I remember that festival very well. That festival had a huge impact on me as a musician. Um, and I just, ironically, today received a package from my mother who is apparently cleaning all the stuff out of her house. <laughs> sent me all these pictures and clippings and stuff from high school. And the first picture I took out of the box was the group picture from that festival. And it also reminded me that at that festival on the program was the Kachi and Corral, who were played by Clifton Williams. And I remember um, that Robert Zellner's passion for that music just really made me fall in love with that piece. Um, years later, I would teach uh, at East Stroudsburg Area High School in a band program that has a rich, very rich and proud tradition. Um, this was before I came to Central. Uh, Mr. Zellner was the band director at Eastburg back in the 50s and 60s, and then went on to Gettysburg College and was really responsible for the, the legacy of the band program at East Stroudsburg. Um, I had many opportunities over the years to speak with him, to work with alumni from his era, and his incredible legacy at East Stroudsburg, I believe, pushed me to be a better band director and a better human being and a better person right up to the very present. God of Our Fathers was one of Mr. Zellner's favorite band works, so I decided to program it this year in honor and memory of one of the greats in the profession. Um, he really was. So um, it's fitting um, that we perform this tonight, and I'd like to dedicate this performance to all of the mentors that have helped shape all of our lives this evening. So this is God of Our Fathers.
We have two selections that we're going to do combined with concert band and symphonic band together. Um, first one has a very interesting title. Not something I would typically pick out of the catalog, but I was looking um, was looking for a piece of program that would make a connection with the concert tour in March to Nashville and Memphis. So I came across a piece entitled Elvis Stole My Melody. Throughout history, throughout the history of popular music, Songwriters have taken melodies from classical music and from folk tunes and turned them into popular songs. Elvis Presley took advantage of this for at least three of his number one hits. Uh, the song Wooden Heart is taken from a German folk song called Mus Eideen. The song Love Me Tender was taken from the folk song R. Lee. And the song, It's Now or Never, was taken from the Italian folk song, O Sola Mia. So this is Elvis Stole My Melody. <laughs>
for attending this evening's concert. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to be able to share our music with you live and in person once again. We have one final selection this evening entitled Bright Lights on Broadway, which is a medley including the, the tunes, There's No Business Like Show Business, Everything's Coming Up Roses, and Comedy Tonight.